What's up everyone, Dan Ellis from DarTech again, and on this tutorial we're going to go through the actual menu items. Um, I'm going to roll through all the uh, all the menu items in Joomla. Um, I'm not going to do any of the ones with uh, that uh, a, as a result of extensions. I'll, instead I'll cover those when I do tutorials on the particular extensions themselves. Uh, so without um, any more hesitation, let's get stuck straight into it. So first off we go to the menus, and we'll grab the all Joomla menus item that we created in the last tutorial okay and that opens up and you can notice there's no menu items in here so if next we click first thing we do is we click new and what we're asking the very first thing we do is we put in a menu title so in this one we'll put in um, archived articles uh, click on the menu item type which obviously is going to be archived articles we select and here you see the list of menu links that you can actually use now when you click on the headings they expand okay and there's all these ones here so we're going to go through each of those so the first one that we have off the cab off the rank is archived articles so we click on that and it pops up in the the menu item type now the link is already defaulted which is okay um, it's a parent that's fine the uh, the template style we can use any template that you have on your system so that when you click on the link it'll actually use that template rather than the one you have as your your default so we'll leave that as it is at the moment we can change that um, on another one somewhere menu location the menu item location is in the all Joomla menus uh, menu menu or you can place it in any, any of the other two you have okay parent item is your menu item root okay status is published default page that's if you want to make this particular link your home page uh, you click yes to that but you don't want to do that who you want to access it now there'll be some links that we put in here some menu items that we put in here that will need to be at the at least the registered level uh, things like uh, user um, login pages and all that sort of stuff um, language all and and uh, the note now again the note is a handy little tool if you're having a lot of similar um, menu items you can actually use the note field to delineate between those similar menu items so you know what you're looking at uh, fairly quickly okay the rest of these uh, items here these tabs okay are basically um, what we spoke about in the articles manager uh, tutorial playlist and if you want to go and have a look at the uh, how these work go in, into the uh, playlist for articles okay and this goes through we, we've gone through how these all work um, now things like the options this overrides all of the options that are set in other areas on Joomla okay the menu is the is the one that it looks at first and uses first same same for every other tab here okay if you if you set the menu up that's what it's going to be okay it's not going to it's not going to listen to it's not going to look at any global options it's not going to look at any options in the articles okay it's going to use the menu links that's about it so let's hit uh, save and close and there's your first menu item now let's go into the home page and click refresh okay there's your link down here now if we click on this probably nothing will happen because I don't have any archived articles but what we'll do is we'll click on it anyway okay yeah so that's there's nothing there so this is set up now um, for any articles that you you want to archive so let's go into just to show this let's go into uh, our article manager okay and let's let's click one and hit the archive button up here okay now that articles archived if we go back into the home page now click on archived articles okay there's your uh, there's your your article there and you can open that and look at it um, and read it however you want to do so uh, usually used for um, this is usually used for old articles that you don't want to get rid of um, and sort of as a repository of, of old old data on your website like an old library for for one of a better word okay so the next one we're going to go into we're going to make another menu item hopefully we'll get two out a day uh, two out on, a, on a, uh, a session so into all Joomla menus click new and let's select an item before we put a title down hit articles and category blog okay just make sure when you've uh, selected your item you put a menu title up here otherwise it'll uh, it won't work on you okay and your category you pick your category you want so let's uh, choose or oh, level five I think that's got most of them in there. Just for the argument's sake, let's use the uh, B3 default for this menu so I can show you how that works. All this stays the same, and that's all stay the same there. Again, all the uh, tabs up here we explained in the article options playlist, so you can have a look at those in the articles 
uh, playlist and see how they all work. Uh, just remember, these are these are what uh, these override all other options. All right, we hit save and close. Oh, okay, oh, you have an error. So this didn't work. We hit save and close. We come up with a warning saying save failed with the following error. Another menu item has the same alias in root. Okay, that is because what we have is if we go into um, into our main menu, we have a category blog up here. Okay, that there is what's causing this one to fail. You can't have the same menu name as any other menu item in Joomla across all menus. So let's call this category blog 2 and hit save and close. And there you go, it saved it. So we go into home page and refresh. There it is there. Now watch what happens when I click on this link. Notice it changed the template. Okay, changed the template layout because we set it up. When we set this one up, okay, we, ch we chose a template style for that link. Okay, so it's a very powerful tool. You can almost set up numerous different websites within the one instance of Joomla. Okay, bit difficult to manage, but uh, it can be done. I wouldn't, I wouldn't do it, but uh, yeah, that's how that's how it works. So we just click Home again. It should take us back to our default. Yeah, there it goes. Back to our default template. Okay, so that's how that works. Okay, category the category blog. Okay, your blog layout. Right, again, I spoke about this in the um, articles options. Okay, how that all works. If you want to know how all those work, go into the articles options playlist uh, and go through those. Go through those tutorials. Okay, and that's about it for this uh, tutorial. I will carry on with uh, the next couple of links on the next tutorial. I uh, hope you get something out of it. If you like it, hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. I'll see you on the next one. Bye for now.